So the slower movement speed is going to be the first thing you notice after the many menus. You're an average soldier moving at average speeds. We mentioned that weight affects movement speed earlier, and this is where it comes into play. Let's look at it. Green weight lets you move, leap, and dodge with no problems, allowing for great close combat performance. You have lots of stamina and you can run for a long time, especially on stims. Most folks play at yellow weight. At yellow, you can still sprint and dodge. Not quite as athletic as green weight, but still definitely doable. You probably aren't hurting for ammo and meds, and sprinting for cover is still definitely an option. At red weight, you sacrifice speed for lots of supplies and firepower. You gain almost no extra speed by sprinting. The only reliable dodge move you have is sliding and diving, and making long jumps is a big problem. Switching between jogging and walking is caps lock by default. CL run true means you're jogging, CL run false means you're walking. Most of the time you'll be jogging for speed and responsive movement. There's a recoil penalty on most weapons for shooting on the move. Your firing stance isn't very stable while moving that quickly, especially if you start using rapid fire. You can turn off this full scope view while moving if it moves around too much and bothers you. Walking may be slower, but it has a lower recoil penalty and a much more stable sight picture. This makes working in close combat a breeze. Hideous Destructor has leaning you can activate using one of several methods. Individual left and right lean binds in the HD control menu, the lean key modifier, or by holding zoom and pressing strafe left or strafe right. All of these options are usable and can be tweaked to your liking in the HD options menu. Sprinting isn't complicated, but the heavier your weapon, the longer it takes for you to lower it and start moving, and the slower you bring it back up. Sprint speed and stamina is affected by your weight level, and if you're low on blood, you're going to gas out almost immediately. Crouching is used to reduce your profile, duck behind cover, dodge attacks from time to time, and let your co-op partners sh shoot over your head. On your Crouching is also the easiest way to brace your weapon. More on that at the start of the weapons section. If you catch on fire, you can crouch and spin to put yourself out. It's the closest thing we have to stop, drop, and roll. It's a very important thing to learn. Sliding is a special crouch mechanic that quickly reduces your profile in the direction you're moving. You can use it to dive forward, fall backwards, or lunge side to side. Using crouch slide gives you more movement options for avoiding damage. There isn't traditional jumping in Hideous Destructor. In its place, we have leaping and climbing. Climbing is a simple process. Walk up to a ledge, wall, or surface, and hold the jump key. If you can climb the surface, your character will pull themselves up. The heavier you are, the harder it is to climb, and it is possible to be too heavy to climb. Leaping can serve two purposes. Dodging attacks in combat and gaining distance when jumping from a ledge. Approaching any downward change in height will let you leap, from a single downward step to leaping over a chasm. I was already down here. Dodge jumping is most often done side to side, leaping away from danger. If you're in red weight, don't bother trying. HD has a good system for calculating speed-based collision damage. Most often, this is slamming into the ground, you know, standard fall damage, but not always. You can deal some damage by colliding into other creatures at high speed. No. 